Welcome to the Beholder EC1 Encoder Camera Stabilizer Setup and Overview video. If you want the best in camera stabilization, don't forget to purchase your stabilizer from Owl Dolly to get the best in stabilizer support. From repairs to troubleshooting, Owl Dolly offers 100% technical support. EC1 comes in a semi-rigid case large enough to store the stabilizer and a camera like the Sony A6300, making the EC1 backpack friendly. The EC1 can be set up and ready to film in seconds. Let's go over the Beholder EC1 parts and stabilizer features. The battery cap has a 3 8 mount and can be unscrewed to reveal the battery holder, which contains three 18650 LiPo batteries. By using the included charger, the batteries will charge in 5 hours. We highly recommend rotating the batteries after every charge. Also, if you want the best charging chimes, check out a dedicated charger like the Beholder MC1 charger, which can charge the batteries in 3 hours. Moving up the handle leads us to the power button and the joystick. On the side of the handle, the EC1 is now a 3 8 stud, great for attaching accessories like a cine arm for a handle, an LED light, or a monitor. Below that is a micro USB port. Behind the joystick and the power button is the mode select and the LCD status screen. On the other side of the handle is a 3 8 mount and a mini USB port. Adjustments to balance of yaw can be done by releasing and adjusting the yaw arm in and out. A new addition to the EC1 is reference markings for balance. Next is the global adjustment for the roll axis. Also the roll arm features reference markings. Following the roll arm leads us to the tilt stage. The first adjustment on the tilt stage can be considered the global adjustment. This must be first adjusted to take out the extra slack, you could say. After that, make the final macro adjustments here. Next is the quick release safety latch. The quick release lock the 577 quick release plate, and lastly the macro adjustment for the roll axis. By the way, pay attention to the direction of the quick release arrow. The joystick to be older EC1 controls the position of the gimbal, and with the advancements of encoders, the EC1 can rotate more than 360 degrees. Let's turn on the Beholder EC1 stabilizer and go through mode selection. By pressing the profile select button and once we'll access profile 1, lock mode, where all accesses are locked. Pressing the profile select button in twice will access pan follow mode, where the stabilizer will follow the panning of your hand, but locking in the tilt and roll. Pressing in the profile select button in three times will access follow mode, where the stabilizer will follow the movements of your hand tilting and panning, and roll is locked. Pressing in the profile select button in four times will access full follow mode, where the stabilizer will follow the movement of your hand rolling, tilting, and panning. Bring on the Dutch tilt, any Evil Dead fans out there? Pressing the Profile Select button in 5 times will return the stabilizer to the home position. Pressing and holding the Profile Select button in for 6 seconds will calibrate the gyros. With 4 built-in filming profiles, the EC1 can create some truly fresh organic camera movement. To help assist with balancing, we highly recommend attaching your EC1 to a stand or to a beholder support. The beholder EC1 can support a maximum payload of 5 pounds of camera. Now we're going to balance the A6300. Balancing starts with attaching the quick release plate to the camera. Have the arrow point towards the back of the camera. On to balancing, which honestly for the first time users can take a bit of practice, but don't give up. You might not like it, but practice makes perfect. And due to the EC1 having encoders built in each motor, balancing is no longer an act of perfectionism as long as the camera setup does not place too much drag on an axis. Heavier cameras like an A7S or a Canon 5D3 will need to be adjusted closer to the tilt motor and lighter cameras 
arms away from the tilt motor. This can be done by adjusting the global adjustment in the roll arm and eventually the micro adjustment on the tilt stage. By using the quick release plate, you'll be able to adjust the camera forward and backwards on the tilt stage. The camera tilt stage will need to be adjusted up and down for the camera's center of gravity. Once again, see how the camera flops? That means that the center of gravity is too far from the center. To test this, turn the camera sideways. First, adjust the global adjustment to take the slack out of the tilt stage. After that, adjust the macro adjustment. Small refinements to adjustments may need to be made in order to find absolute balance. After rough adjustments are made to the tilt stage, let's move on to the roll axis. Once again, there is a global adjustment on the back of the stabilizer, and then there is a macro adjustment on the tilt stage. By adjusting those in and out to find the center of gravity. axis we adjust is yaw. To do this, hold the stabilizer sideways and pay attention to the position of the roll motor. If the roll motor is falling or rising, adjustments will need to be made to the yaw axis to find that center of gravity. Due to the small mass of cameras like the A6300, getting the center of gravity right on the yaw axis is not possible. But not a worry, the encoders can take care of the rest. After all axes have been adjusted, check to make sure they're locked in tight. Balancing the A6300 with the Sony 16-35 lens, and we're using an adapter plate to raise up the body of the A6300 to make the clearance for the 16-35. Onto a quick lens change with the A6300 with a Canon FD 24mm lens with a Photosee adapter. Balancing the A7S II with the Sony 16 to 35 lens. Here we are balancing the Aperture DEC with the Sony A7S II and a Canon 18-55. To, to the interesting height compared to that of the camera body, we had to use an adapter plate to raise up the A7S's body. This also put the camera and lens at a slight angle, making the effort to find the center of gravity a bit difficult, but the encoders took care of the rest.
down to one of the easiest cameras to balance on the EC1 is the Pocket Black Magic camera with a 14 to 42 lens. Due to the small mass of the Pocket Black Magic, the yaw axis cannot be properly balanced, but the EC1 has encoders which take care of the rest. Remember, when filming, please be aware of your surroundings. Only you can prevent preventable slips, trips, and minor embarrassment. Thank you for watching, and if you have further questions, please direct them to sales at aldolly.com, the best place to get your Beholder EC1 stabilizer.